folks, I'm Keith Bowen, this is Hard Rock University. We're back in the shop making a feeder screen hopper thingy for the Stutenroth mill. And here is the hopper itself. It has four legs so it's easily removable from the screen. Finishing if we uh, we made a little oopsie here, but it's not critical, so we're not going to bother fixing it. And uh, he's just welding the deflector plate in there to prevent rocks from getting thrown back up out of the mill. So let's get this uh, cleaned up a bit and painted, and then we'll see what it looks like, and then I'll put it on the uh, student rock and we'll see how it works. And here we have the lower part of the hopper feeder and here we have the feeder with the mesh deck running about here so the undersize goes here the oversize goes into the mill which this will be sitting on here is your feed rate you're on off I'm gonna hang that gauge, that, that scale there, so we can weigh the buckets and keep a close eye on stuff. Okay. Now let's get this last finished up and then uh, painted. Okay, so we've got it on the mill now. You saw what it looked like in the shop. Here it is in the mill. These screws are stopped so you can easily adjust the level of this hopper if you wish. Right now I've got it set eh, about three quarters of an inch away from the screen. Come on. Little one. Okay, you can see the gap there. Now if you look over here, you can back up quite a bit little one. This is the level of the screen. This is the level of the feeder. So anything that goes through the screen will fall out here, go down along here, and wind up in this bucket. All you gotta do is keep the feeder full, and we'll do that with a combination of fresh ore and whatever comes out of the impact mill so that all the oversize will go back in the impact mill. Now this, is actual ore that's been crushed through the RC-46. And as you can see what happens is it has a certain angle of repose and then it'll just stop. Notice it's not feeding at all. Now I'll turn it on. We may need to uh, open that up just a little bit. Looks like we'll probably have to widen that out just a little bit. For the very first time we've tried it. That's what's happening now. Come on over here a little one. Back out. Don't get in all the time. Now this is where the fines will come. They'll be weighed until we get a 25 pound bucket. We can turn off the feeder switch buckets, take this away. Later on we'll have automatic. But for now that's what it is. Let me go ahead and feed it. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to open that up. The occasional rock jams that up. So anyhow, got a little bit of uh, tweaking and adjustment. But I think overall it's working fairly well and we'll do the job. So. And once we get this mill running we'll be able to feed stuff we're also going to want to move this over there. And you see our big uh, new agitation tank sitting on the ground there. Our big conical bottom tank. We're going to have to move our old agitation tank out and set that one up. That should be able to do almost a ton at a time. And uh, do it more efficiently with a lot less hassle. So we'll be back next week with some more further progress on the mill. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.